Good evening. Today is the 26th, about uh, 5.35 uh, p.m. here in New York, and uh, we will do our last session of uh, uh, C Sharp uh, with uh, Selenium with C Sharp, rather, April batch. Okay, so uh, today we have a few topics that we will be covering, and um, um, I uh, have uh, uh, taken up the request of uh, folks who have requested for few things um, so that's what I'll be covering today and uh, I have um, added um, some uh, videos uh, um, and for the topics that uh, I uh, probably if let's say if I cannot uh, touch those today uh, you would find that uh, those videos are added to the uh, screencast okay so first things first uh, we're gonna start off with uh, the reporting so as far as the reporting is concerned um, we will um, go ahead and uh, we will uh, see as how we could add the reporting to our um, you know framework here um, uh, unable to hear um, let's see Okay. All right. So um, uh, those of you who cannot hear me, uh, please log out and log back in. All right. Okay. All right. So let's see. Um, Okay, so uh, the topic right now is uh, we will be getting into something called uh, um, uh, reporting, right? So uh, as far as reporting is concerned, um, what uh, I'm going to do is uh, I just to save some time, um, it, I would rather not type that and I would uh, post it into the Google group uh, if you want to copy paste from there that's fine um, what I am going to do is uh, I'm gonna show you uh, how I implemented the uh, the reporting and uh, we will copy paste that and we will uh, try to build it as a part of our framework so um, I have created a separate project in here for the reports um, and uh, so I'll show it to you so what we have here is uh, if you want to uh, build the reports um, we will um, go ahead and then we will create a class um, so the class um, I would call the class as the uh, test results class so in the test result class um, I will create uh, basically some um, static methods uh, that I am going to call so as you can see uh, this being a static class so I could from our test I could say uh, test results dot uh, write uh, you know the heading and I would say pass any messages um, and uh, uh, basically this uh, pass message is when the test passes I would call this and I would uh, you know print uh, saying that at this uh, time of the day uh, we pass uh, a test and uh, then I would uh, color it in green color then let's say if I fail a test I would color it in red color um, so stuff like that and I will also show you what else can you pass uh, you know by calling some of the methods and how you uh, dump it uh, in uh, on your file system so at the end of the day uh, the report uh, can be uh, even be sent out as a part of an email you could send that report out as well so um, this is what I'm gonna do I will go in here into our project and then I will create a class called test results so uh, here we go uh, in the framework I could I could use it as a part of the framework and I could uh, right click on that go add an item and the new item and then that is going to be a class and I will call it uh, um, let's say uh, as in class 
C as in class, and let's say uh, this is um, report, right? Um, report class. Uh, so uh, now when I create this class, I'll just make this class as a uh, public class, and inside this class, we're going to have few functions. So the functions that I would like to have inside the class would be as follows. I would create a function um, that uh, can basically be the heading of your report. And then after the heading, we would call uh, something uh, whenever a test passes, what kind of uh, you know uh, things we should be uh, writing into it. So if I go in here and uh, if I just create some empty methods, uh, um, so this is basically what it is going to be. Um, so in here, this could be like uh, a report uh, heading, right? Uh, report heading, and uh, or I'm just going to keep it uh, like that, and then we will change uh, the names later. So that is one function that I would have, and I would have another function in there would be whenever uh, my test passes, I would like to say that the test did pass. So uh, that's another one. And this is a part of the framework, so something that probably you would never have to change it. Um, but um, how we pass things into it and uh, how we call uh, is what we got to be uh, looking. So uh, coming back in here, that's going to be my third function. And um, hang on. and Finally, I would uh, have uh, something that uh, uh, you you can call if you really want a very detailed report. You can basically go and then uh, use uh, either a summary one or a detailed one. So I'm just going to create this uh, as a uh, summary layout, and then we could also have a detailed layout. right? So uh, I go in here. Uh, hang on for a second, uh, that's that, and uh, finally we will write the report. So this is going to be how we're going to be writing the report. So uh, uh, here, that is going to be uh, part of writing the report. Okay, so these are um, empty uh, sort of like an empty function with no behavior. So let's see how uh, we can create something as an HTML report, how we could be creating something as an uh, 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 add me to the group. Okay, yeah, we will do that. Uh, I will, uh, what I uh, would do is uh, today since we, uh, this is our last class, so I uh, have uh, created some documents. Um, so I'm going to upload all those documents and uh, you all should have access to uh, those documents as well. So I'll, I'll also create uh, in the Google group, I will uh, copy paste a uh, uh, few things in there that uh, you, I think you should have. Um, so I'm just going to be doing that. So.